Welcome back. Reports have it that the federal government is to spend a quarter of its 2014 budget, an equivalent of 968 billion naira, to fight Boko Haram insurgency in the country, according to the provisions of the budget signed into law by President Goodluck Jonathan. Meanwhile, the finance minister, Dr. Ungozi Okonjo Iweala, and service chiefs are at loggerheads over security allocations. While the finance minister said the federal government released allocations to the military promptly because its welfare was one of the government's priorities, the service chiefs are, however, singing a different tune that the delay in releasing security allocations had ampered its fight against terrorism. What are your thoughts on this? It's your view. You can let it count by calling us on 070-8066-8014 or tweeting to us at your view TVC would like to read from you. Well, should they be bickering at all? This you know, was they, the they, sh they should not be bickering at all. However, my stand is that I do not doubt the fact that at this point, given the situation that the government is putting this military guys mm. as top priorities, because as much as we are facing a situation of a man building a house in a rainy season, mm. but of course you want to complete it as soon as possible, so you would put all effort and all that. So that said, I don't doubt that the government is, the money had been signed, but then the question is, it's not the first time we are seeing uh, cases of money being uh, allocated and then money is missing and then the people it's meant to be allocated to allo uh, can uh, get the money. So I don't think the blame is for the government. I think people at the top, I don't know, between the um, minister to the military, that is where the problem okay. is. Something happened. Are you saying the banks? You okay. Mm? Go I'm ahead. saying it's anything. Insincerity. Mm. I see serious insincerity on the part of government mm. in this fight against terrorism. The reason is because these military chiefs have been alleged to be the ones them siphoning this our mon these monies. Yeah. If the finance minister is saying we've, look, we've you know released these funds and they are saying it wasn't released on time, this is how. In fact, um, one of the service chiefs was saying the allocation, the allowance paid to milit to the, um, the men on in the field fighting in in Sambisa or wherever. Yeah. Are paid this they are, they are paid the same amount as a law allowance. Which, yes. I now if today one military man is saying we don't have shoes, mm -hmm. we're wearing slippers, we're not well fed, the uh, minister of finance is saying we've released these funds. Somebody should be facing consequences for his inaction. Mm. I also think that um, I, I find it hard to believe. This is just me being the pessimistic Nigerian. I find it hard to believe that what the man at the top is earning is the same thing as what that soldier in the field is earning. No, they're saying allowances. It's Allo not the it, same it's salary. The same exactly. But once you're on the field, everybody gets a allowance. flat allowance. That's what they're saying. So that's uh, proven. But that's what they're saying. We can't, except you have proof that is, you know, I, mean, I don't have that. proof. I'm just saying yeah. I find it hard to believe. No, but allowances, it can't be the same. It can't be because you're on the same field. Um, Uwa, what mm -hmm. are your thoughts on this? Okay, I don't want to know where the money is, but I just want to bring an analysis for us here. I read a, a report yesterday online about how much it costs to get a drone. Um, sorry, the, uh, the, the U.S. military. Did they say $3 million? Hold on now. They bought 15 drones for $10 million. And the report that was sent to us, I read a part that says that, um, but of the $130 billion budgeted for the army, 1.8 billion naira was allocated for the purchase of defense equipment. Mm. And I'm wondering, that 1.8 is a tiny fraction of the 130 billion. So it means that they don't even have, if this is true, they don't even have enough money to properly even acquire this equipment. And that's why a reporter would now write a report and say that there are no bullets, I mean, as basic as a bullet let's or say, transportation, let's say, let's say it's missing. Call. Gambo has called in from Ga Kaduna. Good morning, sir. Thank you for calling in. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today, sir? Fine. Uh, I want to make my contribution on this topic. Please go ahead. Uh, good morning, ma. Good morning. Good morning. Please good go morning. ahead. So can you hear me? Yes. Thank you, sir. Yes, we can. Yeah, please, uh, with regard to this issue of security funds allocation, with regard to this, the issue now is 
we have to just be serious. Like uh, the other person have rightly said, in Nigeria, nobody is being held responsible for whatever Gabe he does. You understand? Yes. So it's very, very important that we should take serious matters very seriously. We are talking of people's lives. People are losing their lives. We have ridiculed our country to a country that doesn't have the capacity militarily to handle a local insurgency. So many questions are being asked without answers. The people that are on the ground there, they make so many comments that people suppose the government is supposed to take more seriously. And now how do you how do you how do you how do you even reconcile this issue? The defense headquarters is even making complaint about and you know naturally in Nigeria this bureaucracy it always affects the speedy implementation of issues. Mm. So it's very important that we now restructure how these funds flow to those people because the defense and the army are the people that are putting their lives for this country. So Thank you so very much, Gambo. Thank you. We are, I totally yeah, agree with him. And why I agree, he said restructuring. The Minister of Finance has said that the money has been released, but unlike other parastatals that once the money is released, it goes into their accounts directly. They haven't done the same for the military. It goes to the Ministry of Defense, and they are the ones who disburse. So that's why there might be a delay, not that the money haven't been released, you know. So if there's a restructuring and my money, my allowance goes directly into my account, then mm. there won't be any complaint. Okay. Do you, do you, the reason I'm trying to draw up Because attention almost one trillion naira is has a been huge, allocated it's for a one huge quarter, just one quarter. amount. You know, wait now, that's why I'm trying to draw our attention. Because if they say that the major reason why... Uh, our, our, our military people can't fight Boko Haram properly is because of lack of, uh, what's of it called? E uh, uh, equipment. Equipment. You know, they don't have guns. I mean, they don't have bullets. They don't have um, vehicles to transport them. How do you... So let's, what I am saying, restructuring of this fund ensures on. that these funds, they now prioritize which is supposed to be what. Yeah. You okay. Can't. Ellen okay. has called in from Surulere. Good morning, Ellen. Thank you for calling. Hello, good morning. Morning, mm -hmm. ma'am. Please go ahead with your, your contribution. First time, I'm your first time caller. Good morning, Ellen. Welcome. I'm very happy for the birth of uh, Ryan's uh, baby. I want to say congratulations to her. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks, Ellen, for calling in. All right, my point is, Oa, you can't, you can't say that they don't have bullets, they don't have guns. Of course, we've seen pictures say of them. It was you a said reporter. It. Okay, uh, uh, well, uh, uh, okay, well, don't the reporter, me. Okay, <laughs> the reporter said it. The reporter said it. Well, I dare to tell that reporter that he is absolutely wrong because I've seen pictures of them with guns and bullets. He might say they do not have hold enough, on, hold on. but not to say that oh, they okay. do not have guns oh, and okay. all that. However, I read a report that said Excuse that me. they do not have mine resistant tankers. Okay. Nigeria does not have one at all. That is what and I'm I find explaining that, to you. And I find that absolutely embarrassing. Mm. And the cost of one is one billion naira. Well, excuse, the American excuse me, Nima. army bought 10 15. for 10, 15, 15. 10, 10, 10, million, 10 million dollars. dollars. But that was way back in 2004. Between 2004 and, and 2014. late commerce, 2014, <laughs> there is a long bracket. So even, it's possible listen, with Sanzi, war even, going on in almost every Sanzi? continent. Even if, even if 2004 to 2014, of course, inflation would inflation, have happened. Inflation, yes. Let me tell you something. Already, did you read that report that says it's just 1.8 billion that is assigned for hardware? That's what I'm saying. Already, that structure is wrong. Hmm. Because out of 130 billion, yes. if 1.8, only 1.8 is for hardware, it means they can never get the hardware they need. They can't even buy they one drone. They cannot buy one. One drone. One cannot be bought. <laughs> of course we need restructuring. So you, We're getting because there. Because, you see, when this um, soldier... Okay, Mutini, let's take our next phone okay, call. We'll come back to the soldier, Mutini. I'm very interested in that one. Um, Yakub from Dokwemu. Good morning, sir. Yeah, Thank you for yeah, calling. Good morning. I will, I'm very, very happy this morning for Morayo Akola's trial. <laughs> because one year ago we started this program together and then this morning now he delivered it two, two babies. Yes, so <laughs> Mama did exactly you yeah. and you should address them, Mama did you one, Mama did you two. Yes, yeah, so and you thank God. So don't so, 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 back to the matter. You see, the problem we have in this country is, is very so simple and then it's clear. When a leader does not lead by example, this is what you get. When our president says telling us that 
corruption it is not the problem of the country. What do you want to get? <laughs> I know this is because I'm not talking about the budget for security. Is there anybody accountable for that little one? Even that little one was not properly used. That is why we brought all this kind of a thing. If that a little one, the budget for security was using very well, let me on you. Then we, they can be able to ascertain from certain states. Nobody is going to accountable for everything in this country. We have problem in our hands. And then the solution is this. The solution is that all the unemployment youth of this country, and then together, people, the working class, we should come together and hard for our rights. And then, uh, uh, who will say that it's not going to castigate in the government this week? No, they are going to castigate. Don't stop castigating them. Are you getting the value you stop? So, what anybody can tell you that they are castigating government, they are, they are, they are paying them to our, our taxpayer money. Please, castigating them. Thank you so very much, Yakub. Thank you, Yakub. He's you always have, an aggressive caller. He has put wind <laughs> on that um, who has wings now to go and start fighting the government. No, but but I'm interested in the mutiny issue yeah. because the soldiers were complaining about them not being equipped enough to mm. fight um, Boko Haram. Yeah. And the Division 7 was actually set up for that. Mm. You know, that was why they were taken to the north of the country to go and specifically fight the insurgents. So they were ambushed. I don't know where and I read that report. It was so, so, they were tipped off that they had Boko Haram something, something, something. Yeah. So they went there. J Jumoke, these people surrounded them and killed them. Of course they so have spies. Listen, uh, Sanzi, when the army is talking, they cannot, they, they can't, for them in, 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 in military, I said this before, it is obey before complain. Do you hear that before even him, the, their new GOC? They attacked him again. They, they attacked him also. You know, before, Government that before, they, before a, a, I mean, an army man would say he wants to stand up against authority, then something would have gone wrong majorly. We have another phone call. Sorry, okay. Lukman, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Okay, he's gone. You know, go ahead. Something would have gone wrong majorly for them to stand up to see they want to rise up against their, 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 um, their, GOC. their GOC. So what I am saying, uh, Jumoke, we cannot isolate corruption. Yeah. We cannot isolate all these things. You see, if, if, if I see that the government is heading in the right direction by putting in laws, now they have released this money. What is stopping this money from getting to where it's supposed to um, and doing the things it's supposed Ooh, to let do? Me support Nobody is doing that. I said there's insincerity on the part of government. Mm. If Explain Boko Haram yourself. has the money Hold to on. put mines around their camps, yes. and our government is saying we've released money, you, when you release money, you release it to, to, to solve a particular problem. If we have money for, to fight insurgents, we are buying this particular uh, tanker no, resistant missile. Don't let me speak <laughs> about this. <laughs> Hold we on, have please. to round up there. You're buying, when you buy, you buy the right weapons. You, you, you provide the necessary equipment. People will see that you are ready to fight this insurgents. It's how not like you, you, you release money you just say, to pay allowances. How can you say it's insincerity on the part of governments? Are you Jonathan? Do you know exactly what is going on there? Wait, if the president releases money, he will not carry the money like this and go and pay it into your account. Of okay. course it's going no. to pass through No, let me process. explain to you if of you do not understand. Process. 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 Can I, can I, I don't leave the president you out of You will not carry the money. I think this when you release this money, you release Hold it. On. This case is between Iwala that signed the money and, and the, the defense of defense that has hasn't gotten the money yet or whatever they say. Who's this cabinet is between them, not who, the who, government. Can, can I just, sorry? Hold on, uh, Nima. Sanzi, we're not we're not doubting that it is between Iwala and the and the Ministry of Defense. Or the banks. Or the banks. <laughs> what we <laughs> are saying, listen, what we are saying, when there are rules in place. And somebody knows that if I'm giving Jumoke one billionaire and one cobble is missing from that money, no. Jumoke, hold on. Nothing is missing hold from on. that money yet. Hold on. They haven't said it. No, they, they haven't said they've anything not said is it. missing. They've not said anything is missing. I am making an example. If we know that Jumoke, if I give her one billion and one cobble is missing, Jumoke is going to face Kirikiri Kiri prison. Jumoke will definitely not tamper with the money. I will follow the money. You will follow the money well and ensure that the money is, is put in okay, okay, let's take the direction it's supposed to be used. Let's take a few tweets. Everybody is just congratulating Morayo. Thank guess. you so much for <laughs> for your for, for your warm messages. Um, so Daniel um, Igbere say, says, I, I see Boko Haram insurgency in Nigeria as political. It's not arguable that Nigeria armed forces can fight Boko Haram. Um, someone's uh, Adefemi says the bottleneck in disposing disposing money should be reviewed so that money can be released properly. Immediately. God bless Nigeria. Amen. Then um, someone says, uh, Folabi says, Nima, the problem about the funds is corruption. 
Mm. Why is it that there are stories when there's money involved in Nigeria? Mm -hmm. So, um, last one. Sokoya says, this is the period Shokoya. Uh, the Boko Haram. <laughs> Shokoya, sorry. Shokoya. This, is, this is the period the Boko Haram will do a lot of damage to us as a nation because the security chiefs want more money. Well, we pray, we pray not that they don't do that. Well, we'll keep our best of issues. We'll continue to talk about it. We won't let it die down until the right things are done in every parasitical. Okay, what is the latest update from the ongoing national conference? Find out more with our guests on Let's Talk after this break. Please stay with us. We'll be right back.